This, ladies and gentlemen, is a McLaren 570 GT, which is part of the sports series. I don't know why I'm whispering, this is quite exciting. I think Al's pooing his pants a little bit. And why have I got it before he gets in the car? Because he's cleaning his glasses. Um, it's my birthday today, and uh, I just thought, what well, better way to go to meetings up north, which is where we are now, than in one of these? Bloody hell. <laughs> We've got matching glasses. That's nice. How do we shut the door? Have you ever driven something like this before? No. No. <laughs> but do you want my car list? Yeah, go on. So, I started off with a, a nice, modest Vauxhall Astra. Yeah. Um, moved on to a Mazda 323 with the flip, you know, the F with the flip lights. Nice. Bargain, 800 quid I think it was. Wow. Um, wrote both of those off. Oh. And um, I moved on to a, a Ford Escort van. And you've been in vans ever since? I mean, I've been in a van ever since, yeah. Why are we doing this? Um, I don't know. Just because it's mental, isn't it? It's yeah. just mega. It's just a mega thing to do. Yeah. McLaren kindly lent me this car uh, to come up north in, and I've probably got to do a video or something in it. But, um, yeah. It's my birthday today as well. So. Woo! So what engine did it? Uh, I think it's a 3.8 twin turbo V8. Okay. That little beep is just a sensor behind, right. so it's just saying stuff. Um, so, there's a. Well, should we just go? Yeah, so drive. Okay, drive. Foot brake. Brake's yeah. on. Yeah. And then down to the right, there's a little push. Push oh, yeah. it, don't push. pull it. Yeah. And then the P should disappear from up there. And now, you don't need to give it any throttle to pull away, okay. just let your foot off the brake. Are you sure? Just yeah. That's it. I'm really, I'm really, really scared. So am I. So we'll go left. So this oh, has got carbon, shit. it's got yeah, carbon it's got ceramic car brakes. Yeah. So you, you've definitely got to be fairly active with them in the, in the initial phase. Should we go to Macca's now or should we go for a bit of a drive first? Um, Let's go for a bit of a drive first. Yeah, let's go for a little drive. And then have a relaxing Mac yeah. to finish the, the, the birthday off. It's um it's, it's quite it's much easier than I thought the drive. I mean it it's is. super stiff. You can feel everything, can't you? Yeah. Uh, we're going down I think brakes going... are so good, aren't they? Yeah. The A38, Mansfield. Yeah. No, it's probably a bit wider than most cars. That's the indicator, yeah. Yeah. That's a good start. That's good. You think there's like, it's coming to the red line and there's another 3,000 rest to go. Yep. But it, it's funny actually because it doesn't seem like quite so much of a wank. Larry, car. yeah, no, it's quite like understated, people, isn't it? They just like looking at it yeah. rather than, if it was bright orange, I mean, this is like a, a mocha sort of chocolate brown. Yeah, the colour doesn't really do it for me, but. Well, you wait know. till you see it when the sun's on it. The sun's the, just I mean, out. I love the, the, the interior. This, it's sex, yeah. Isn't it? Absolute sex. Yeah. Yeah. And the GT, so that little extra luggage. Oh, fuck the luggage. I'm interested in your thoughts because the whole reason for this video really is I think this is motorbike fast. Yes. Yeah. Like, absolutely. I can safely say it is just now, even just the five minutes we've been driving. And a lot of the reasons, yes, there's, there's many other benefits to riding a bike, but a lot of it is performance for money. Like if, if most superbike owners could afford a car like this, I'm pretty sure they'd have one. Like it's something they would like to have. I was quite surprised when he said it was 150 some. some... I think it's 170 odd okay. list, but without without the spec. I've got the spec in here somewhere actually. <laughs> you get a lot of that. Is that a Honda Civic Type R behind us? Thing is, there is so much power in this that it, 
unless you've got a really delicate touch, the car can't put it down on the road until you're in like third gear. So it's still wheel spinning in fourth. I think it's quite interesting to compare a supercar to a superbike, and I think we want to try and do like a video definitely about the benefits. But, and yeah, the and but not your normal. Oh, the car's 1.2 seconds quicker around the track and all this sort of rubbish. Yeah. Proper day to day, every day, black across London or something. Yeah, we'll put a relevant. challenge together. Which, yeah. Yeah, because the, the best thing about a car like this for me is you don't have to get dressed to drive it. Yeah. Like you just get in it and just go, I'm ready. Whereas it's like, oh, the faffing around with the bike stuff, get all the leathers on. If you want to take something with you, it's very difficult, backpack, all that sort of stuff. So the ease of this yeah, is I mean, pretty advantageous. I've got to say though, I've never I've never been into cars. I mean partially because, you know, the highlight of my driving career has been a um, a Ford Escort van. But I've never really been into that into cars. I didn't, they've never really excited me that much. Yeah. But I appreciate this, I appreciate supercars, and that is the only thing that's gonna do it for me. Yeah. Because we're sport with superbikes, aren't we? Yeah. And unless you have something that's rampant as this. Yeah, not a lot else comes close, does it? And it's exciting just to sit in the thing. You don't even have to drive oh, it. Oh mate, yeah. There's definitely a sense of pride or something special. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, when you're putting the power on, it's a bit like um, how you'd ride a superbike. Don't yeah. you know? Yeah. It won't. It won't give you the best start if yeah. you do that because the traction will just go there and hold you back, and it, you'll be able to feel it when it lets it go. So you've got to try and feel. There he is. <laughs> Circa 2003. Yeah, if you get to a particularly something that you really find it might not work, we'll have to put the nose lift up. Okay. I'll go straight on. Nottingham, sounds good. I love the, oh, the steering wheel, it just, it just feels. And it's got, it's, it's like me. oval, isn't it? So it's got yeah. like a, it's not just round. God, everything's so much I more. I know. It's like, oh my god, what I can do, what are we doing? Sport, sport now. Whoa! It feels brilliant, but it, it's like a like a simple one, I suppose. It's yeah. It's not brilliant until it's flat. Right, I'm going to put you into track mode here. Okay. Slow down a minute, and we'll do it. The dash will change. Yeah. Right, so go into like second. So, uh, not as normal. Is there no, there's there no is light. a launch button, but I'm not entirely sure how to do it. But just, yeah, just fucking floor it basically. Oh, my heart's beating. Funny, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh. People like me, you know, who who could never afford this sort of thing, were almost a bit snobbish towards cars. Mm. And there's this, there's this sort of inherent attitude with bikers that oh, mm, cars, but mad. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! But herein yeah. lieth the biggest yeah, yeah, yeah. positive with a motorbike. Yeah, in fact, what's going on here? Because don't know. What can you see out there? Well, nothing. I'm not keep banging my head against the... That's not looking good, mate. Where's the... I do want reverse. But yeah, so, obviously you can't overtake traffic. No. No, and that is the biggest issue for me. I, I Driving through... Bath, Bristol city centres nowadays for me, I can't do it anymore. 
No. I cannot do it anymore. However, if you can afford something as cool and nice as this, if you do have something like this, well, from this morning, driving it all the way up here, I don't mind sat in, being sat in traffic in it. No, that's very true. It's, yeah. it's fucking cool. But I'm sure the, 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 the sort of moment and the fad would pass a little bit. Maybe. Maybe. If you had it for, you know, a few months, whatever you'd be like, oh. I'm just trying to, you know, play devil's advocate here, Chris, you know? Yeah. It's that unsuspecting... The spool the la- is the, Well, yeah, there's not everything about it, the noise, but the, that lag, you just going... And you could just feel it, cage animal style, just going... The most surprising thing for me is when you get through first and second, and you can probably feel the traction, like, yeah. pulling it back a bit, you get into third, and then you start feeling it pull. Like, the torque, actually, then... Yes. Like, hang yeah, on, yeah, yeah. fourth, and it's like, my God, it's yeah. still pulling as, as, like, the same as it was in first and second. It feels quite short-geared. Or is that just because of the power? Well, it could do 204 miles an hour. Right. It's not dying. I actually think it feels faster as a passenger. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I do like the way you... Uh... Oh! Ali! Ali! <laughs> stop it! Come, oh, oh, don't be silly! Don't play sillies! Don't play sillies! I'm the, I'm the worst passenger. Yeah? I'm the worst. I hate not being in control. So do I. I think that wing mirror is six grand. Here's a good question then, seeing as we're in the lap of luxury. If you could buy any motorbike to use, what would it be? Anything. Anything. Money, no objects, but you've got to use it. I think we've done this quite well recently. It's got to be a Super G. Ah. Okay. But you'd have a GS still, wouldn't you? (laughs) Probably would, actually. So seeing as we're in a car, let's talk about the top things that piss you off that car drivers do when you're in a boat. Well, the first one that springs to mind is uh, not leaving enough room. Purposely not leaving enough room, whether it be double whites, going into town, Mm. doing something like that. Yeah. So for some reason, these people insist on coming up to a junction. They can see you, but they do that creep, like yes. half out into the road yeah, before, yeah, yeah. before yeah. you've passed, and you're like, whoa, whoa, are you actually going to fucking pull out? It's like it's a short matter of life or death. People don't use dual carriageways and motorways. Oh, oh my God. She can't turn her indicator off, I think. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Well, we got this on video. I'd say get closer, but we'll... just leave it, love. It'll turn off. <laughs> Yay! Woo! Oh, horns a bit. Nah, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit there. But yeah, people can't overuse the lanes on a dual carriage or a motorway. It's an overtaking lane. It's not to sit in, it's an overtaking lane. This morning, I'm sorry I drove like a cock today because lane one empty and I just undertook everyone. Like 20 or 30 cars. Yeah. And it's like, well, why isn't anyone in this lane? But you set foot in France, set one wheel in. And everyone's like, oh, overtake move, they do it. And they don't seem to yeah. get... It's like we have a queuing system here. And people in France and abroad don't get arsy if someone's up your shitter trying to get past. The UK car driving attitude to bikers is so much... There's far less respect. Yes, I, I see what you're getting at Far now. less respect. Absolutely, I noticed that. Like, people just... Even an old lady will pull out like, pull out of her lane a little bit to let you through. But for me, the stat I want to know, particularly in a vehicle like this, and a super bike or any motorbike really, autobahn, the speed limit yeah. de-restriction. Like, yeah. If there was no... It's so crazy to assume that because there's no speed limit, everyone's just going to drive like a nutcase. Sorry, but on a 200-mile journey, you've got other things to think about, like fuel economy. Fuel, exactly. You might not want to smack, like, rev your car up or whatever. But if you feel, if you do have this vehicle or a superbike, and you want to go 180 mile an hour, that it, I think, and, and concentrate on what you're doing rather than sat at 70, looking where's the speed camera, uh, what's going on, yes. fucking like, like, and it, the anxiety and the, the 
tiredness that occurs from going, oh, hang on, we're a, oh, it's saying it's a 50 now, so a, a speed camera there. Uh, 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 and it's it's draining. And, and going back to that stat, that's perfect. Motorways, right, despite all this smart motorway bullshit, oh, just- We're on one now. Just now every smart, every motorway's gonna be smart now, mate. It takes three hours to, three years to build them. And they're Millions shit. and millions of pounds, they're shit. And they're not smart at all. No. But the point is, motorways have, the least amount of accidents. Yeah. The least amount of accidents by a, I think it's, by, I think it's five percent. Right. Okay. Compared to fifty in rural and or thirty. Or like urban or whatever. Yeah yeah. 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 So instead of focusing on the safety of a motorway, where okay, yes, agreed that when they do go wrong on motorways, they go wrong big time. Yeah. And we have, you know, it's not fatalities. Great. Yeah. Sure, well, yeah. yeah, but they have fatalities on, you know, sure. in, in 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 towns and city centres, being run, pedestrians being run over run over but the point is all that focus and money going on smart motorways when the Germans have unlimited and I, I want to know the difference yeah, between yeah, autobahn yeah. accidents but you know what it is it's fucking that it's, it's, uh, there is no other reason to invest that much money in something that they don't think they're going to recoup the money with there is no other reason than to take it off the good people who have their own car haven't stolen it who have bought their tax, who have who play by the rules because they're easy targets. Oh, another hundred quid from this guy. <laughs> and stopping distances, we were talking about it earlier. Yeah. If this car can stop from like a hundred mile an hour in like a hundred meters or something, it's it's ridiculous. As, as ridiculous as this noise is. You can see it now on any smart motorway. There'll be nothing going on. And they'll say incident. Yeah. Down to 40, yeah. 50. Nothing happens for two gantries. Oh, it's clear again. Yeah. How fucking smart is that? It's like when smart TVs first came out. They're fucking shit now. Oh, they're wrong, ain't they? No, you're right. Oh. I'm looking forward to that Macca's. So am I. Macca's in a Macca. Oh. It does get quite warm. Yeah, it? it does. I'm not surprised. 560 ponies behind you. Gallivanting. <laughs> <laughs> I need a poo as well. I need a poo. Should we tandem it up? So if you enjoyed it, it's been far better than I thought it was going to be. I mean, I knew it would be good, don't get me wrong. You can't have 570 horsepower and not be not be any good, but still. It's the weight, isn't it, though? That's the thing. It's so light. Yeah. Carbon fibre tonne. How much does it weigh? Well, I'm, I'm going to guess and say 1,100 kilos. <laughs> so basically, the weight of a Ford KA. So, handbrake on. Pull? Yep. Sick. Thick. It's gonna get a big mac. Yeah.